this is an interesting question. It asks if we can demodulate narrow band FM using a coherent DSB demodulator. So using the kind of modulator we would expect to demodulate AM. So by multiplying by a local oscillator. So this is how we would recover AM or DSB SC or even DSB with a large carrier. But if you look at this form of FM, so narrowband FM can be written in this form, which looks a little bit like AM, where you have a carrier term and you have your sideband terms. So because of the similarity, it's natural that the question should arise, that can we use a coherent demodulator to demodulate narrowband FM? So. The question essentially is asking, if we have narrowband FM, so S of T going in here, can we have here the integral of that, so our original message? So some scaled version of cosine omega M T. That's the question. So to do that, we, we'd look at it step by step. So the first thing we'd look at is this multiplication and we'd see what's happening right after the multiplier. So what's happening at this point here? And let's call that x of t. So let's find x of t and see, is that any closer to what we're looking for? So x of t is simply s of t multiplied by my local oscillator. Now I could say cosine omega ct, but it looks like my sideband is out of power, sorry, out of phase with the carrier. There's a 90 degrees phase shift. So I shouldn't really be using cosine, I should be using a sine. So let's, let's put sine omega ct as my local oscillator. You could try both ways, but I doubt you'd get the correct answer with a cosine. So let's try with a sine. So let me write that neatly. Sine omega ct. So I can now replace s of t with the narrowband fm expression we're given. So that's cosine omega c t times sine omega c t minus beta sine omega c t multiplied by sine, so that will be sine squared, multiplied by sine omega m t. So now there's a little bit of trig to unpack. So let me remind you of two things, that sine squared a can be written in terms of cosine of a double angle, 1 minus cosine 2a. And let me bring this up. That will help us deal with this product here, product of sine times cosine. So let's do it step by step. So the first product, here we have cosine sine. Cosine sine, um, you can write that as half sine twice the angle, 2 omega c t. And again, let me remind you of why that's the case. So you've got um, sine 2a equals 2 sine a cosine a. So cosine sine is half sine 2 omega ct. 
minus. Now what have we got? We've got sine squared. So this sine squared we can rewrite as half 1 minus cosine twice the angle. So that becomes minus beta over 2, 1 minus cosine 2 omega ct, all multiplied by sine omega mt. And let me move this along to make some space. So we've got half sine 2 omega ct minus beta over 2 sine omega mt minus minus plus beta over 2 cosine 2 omega ct sine omega mt. This is all x of t, so that's before the low pass filter. Now, what happens when you have cosine times sine? Cosine sine is sine the sum and sine the difference. Now, remember we have omega c, which is much bigger than omega m. So, omega c plus omega m and omega c minus omega m will all be much larger than omega m. So, if you think about what happens at the final output here. So let's call this y of t. So y of t will have all the high pass components, all the high frequency components filtered out. So we're only looking at the low frequency components. So this is a high frequency component. Now these are all high frequency components. This will give me two components, both of which are much higher than omega m. So that will be cut out by the filter, and that will be cut out by the filter. So my final output will be minus beta over 2 sine omega m t. which is a scaled version of my original message. So um, even though it's not cosine omega mt, it's um, a uh, 90 degrees shifted version of what we were expecting. So it is, if you like, the message that we have here. So the minus sine and the fact that it's a sine and not a cosine just means that it's 90 degrees out of phase. So we've managed to recover our original message simply by multiplying by a local oscillator and passing through a low pass filter. So the conclusion of this is using a coherent DSB demodulator, it is possible to recover narrowband FM. So narrowband FM can be recovered using a coherent DSB modulator.